फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू लॉ एन जी के सो फ्रेंड्स ऑन दिस चैनल वी डिस्कस द कंटेंट्स ऑफ लॉ एंड प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर्स ऑफ जुडिशियल सर्विसज एंड अदर लीगल एग्जाम्स सो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्रिमिनरी एग्जाम पेपर ऑफ पुडुचेरी जुडिशियल सर्विसज विच हैज बिन रिसेंटली हेल्ड ऑन थर्ड ऑफ जून सो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन दिस चैनल आई वुड लाइक टू रिकमेंड कि आप जो है इस चैनल को जल्दी से सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिए बिकॉज इट विल वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू इन प्रिपरेशन फॉर जुडिशरी एंड अदर लीगल एग्जाम्स and while subscribing don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of our upcoming videos and if you like this video just click the like button over there and appreciate this with your friends so that they can come to know about this channel as well and agar aapko hamare efforts acche lage ho to in addition to like and subscribe kindly give us a super thanks super thanks is a way to help the content creator means if you like the videos you can just donate some money to them in form of tips minimum starts with 20 minimum is 20 rupees so you can see the paper comes like this this is a booklet number your registration number roll number will be filled here series a 3 hours exam and 100 marks objective type 100 questions and 0.10 marks will be deducted matlab means 10% negative marking is there so there are two parts part a and part b both parts have 50 questions so we will do part a first part a starts with question number 1 so question number 1 is whether an executing court could recognize payment made outside the courts yes if it is certified so the answer would be d a and c above and where it is mentioned it is mentioned in order 21 and rule 2 cpc Next question number two: When an application under section ten of CPC is allowed, the suit is stayed. Now I would say the here the second suit is stayed, not the first suit. They must be identical in cause of action and other things which is mentioned in section ten. So they they should have mentioned here the second suit is stayed. You can say A is the answer. This is three. When does a suit of partition terminates upon passing of the final decree? There can be preliminary decree, obviously, and you can see order twenty rule eighteen for that. C is the answer. Next is four. Which of the following section of CPC empowers or authorizes court to try all the suits of civil nature? That is section nine. D is the answer. What is six about? It is about pecuniary jurisdiction of the court and eleven about res judicata, obviously. And section five application of this court to revenue court. Next is five. In order that a judgment should operate as res judicata, it should have been rendered by court of competent jurisdiction to try subsequent suit. Obviously, a decision of non-competent court cannot be said as Res judicata. However, if a court of limited jurisdiction, this could also be a answer. How the explanation eight of section eleven of CPC provides that even if it is passed by a limited jurisdiction court, then still it will be operated as res judicata. However, they are asking should have been. So you can say the answer is A, but this can be objected if you want. Next is six. The prohibition on the power of court to grant interest at a rate above six percent per annum will not apply to levied towards a debt advanced by the nationalized bank in relation to the commercial transactions. So both A and B. D is the answer. And where this is provided, this is provided in section thirty-four and subsection one proviso. Next is seven. Whether a clerical or arithmetic error in the plaint could be corrected after disposal of the suit yes it can be section 152 provides the power for that next is eight can a suit filed in a representative capacity with the permission under order and rule 8 be withdrawn or disposed of as settled out of court yes but with the permission of court and is mentioned here with permission but after notice to all persons interested so c is the answer and with this is mentioned it is mentioned in order 23 rule 3b this is 9 in order to apply the bar under order 2 rule 
CPC, the cause of action in the previous suit and the subsequent suit should be identical. Yes, this is correct. Plaintiff should have been entitled to see the relief sought in the subsequent suit in the earlier suit itself. Yes, the plaintiff should have omitted to sue for that said relief in the earlier suit. Yes, all of the body is the answer. Next is 10. Which provision of CPC enables the High Court to transfer a suit to court subordinate to another High Court? That is Section 24. D is the answer. 25 is for Supreme Court. Next is, next is 11. Objection to the place of suing can be taken at the first instance at earliest opportunity. A is the answer. Merit is mentioned is mentioned Section 21 of CPC. Next is 12. The following provision of CPC bars a suit to set aside a decree on objection as to the place of suing. That is section 21A. C is the answer. Next 13. When the court grants an ex parte injunction under order 39 rule 1 and 2, it has to dispose of the application within 30 days. C is the answer. And where it is mentioned, it is mentioned in rule 3A of order 39. Next is 14. When a court finds a person guilty of disobedience of an order of injunction, it can sentence him to detention in civil prison for a period of not exceeding three months. So C is the answer where it is mentioned order 39 again and rule 2A. Next is 15. A decree for permanent injunction can be executed by directing detention of the Defendant in the civil prison by delivering the property to the plaintiff by fencing the property. But directing detention of the defendant in civil prison A is the answer where it is provided. It is provided in order 21 and rule 32. And what else can be done? A property can be attached or by both. Next 16. A executes a document undertaking to pay B or his order a quantified sum of money within the period of three months. The document is called as a bond. C is the answer. I think they have asked the wrong question because these options are not correct. It should have been like it is not a promissory note. It is mentioned in section 4 promissory note that what illustrations are promissory note and what are not. So promissory note should be a should be unconditional bond is not defined in ni act it is defined in indian stamp act and if you see the illustration other examples would not illustrate that so appropriately c would be the answer but i would say this question is not proper should have been asked from the ni act only next 17 inchoate instrument under section 20 of negotiable instrument is a blank incomplete or unsigned blank or incomplete both A and C, D is the answer. Next 18, the making acceptance or endorsement of negotiable instrument is completed by delivery thereof. So actual or constructive both can be that. So A and B both are answer. D is the answer and where this is mentioned in section 46 delivery in NI Act. Next 19, presumption under section 118 of negotiable instrument act are are absolute no partial no they are rebuttable b is the answer how see in section 118 it is mentioned that unless until the contrary is proved means if you can rebut it you can rebut it you are allowed so it is rebuttable presumptions b is the answer next 20 which of the following reason for dishonor of check will not provide the basis of an offense under 138 ni act payment stopped by drawer this is sufficient account closed prior to the issuance of check with the knowledge of the payee. When the payee has the knowledge means who is paid to whom check is given and he has knowledge the account has been closed then it would be not a ground insufficient fund it is ground. So B is the answer. Next 21 the following cannot be transferred it is section 6 of TPA immobile property can be transferred yes right of easement cannot be transferred right to inherit cannot be transferred so b and c cannot be transferred d is the answer right to inherit is clause a section 6 that is chance of heir apparent and this is clause c an easement cannot be transferred apart from dominant heritage but it is not mentioned it is along with dominant heritage or not so 
it cannot be taken as a full so because it is not mentioned so d would be the answer b and c next is 22 rule against perpetuity will not apply if a transfer is for the purpose of temple then it will apply benefit for the public then it will not apply obviously with an object restraining the property in the family then it will be applied so this is an exception rule against perpetuity rule against perpetuity is mentioned in section 14 so b is the answer next 23 the doctrine of feeding the grant of estoppel is set out in section 43 very common question and repeated question c is the answer next 24 a mortgage coupled with possession is called as Issue fracturing mortgage B is the answer. Mortgage is defined in section 58A. 58B is simple mortgage. C is mortgage by conditional sale. D is issue fracturing. English mortgage is 58E. Equitable mortgage by deposit of title deeds. F. Anomalous mortgage G. Next 25, a transfer of immobile property pending a suit is voidable. B is the answer provided in section 52, list pendants. Very common question, repeated question. Next 26, which among the following is not a transfer under the TPA? A pledge is not a transfer under TPA. Where is pledge? Pledge is in contract act, not in TPA. So D is the answer. Next 27, which of the following provision of TPA authorizes a creditor to sell the property of debtor without intervention of the court? That is section 69C is the answer. Next 28, the TPA was extended to Pondicherry by Act 26 of 1968. A is the answer. Next 29, as per section 3 of TPA attached to the earth means rooted to the earth as in the case of trees and shrubs yes embedded in the earth as in the case of walls and buildings yes attached to what is so embedded for the permanent beneficial enjoyment of that to which it is attached that is totally correct all of the above are correct one two three c is the answer same question has been asked in bihar judicial services whose paper has been conducted on 4th june means next day and the same question was there Next 30, as per section 3 of TPA, instrument means a non testament instrument. A is the answer. Next 31, a gift of immovable property must be affected by registered instrument signed by on behalf of the donor. Yes, attested by at least two witnesses when the value of the property is above. Yes, and delivery of possession. See, section 123 mentions about these two and not about this. this is also essential but not mentioned in section 123 tpa so d is the answer a and b and same question was also asked in bihar judicial services held on 4th june next day of this exam see two questions are similar in that exam how that could be possible you can check the bihar answer key which i have uploaded on my channel Next 32, essentials of a contract are offer, acceptance and consideration. All of the above, D is the answer. Next 33, A offer to sell 10 bags of paddy to B at rupees 1000 per bag. B conveys his acceptance at 800 per bag. What is this? This is a counter offer and no acceptance. This is no contract at all. So C is the answer. S34 whether a person who becomes insane at lucid intervals is competent to contact at such intervals yes this is correct b is the answer and this is mentioned in section 12 of contract act and you can see illustrations for that s35 which of the following has the effect of invalidating a contract so fraud and defense caution all of the above d is the answer fraud is mentioned in section 17 16 and this is in 15 so all the contracts entered into on the basis of these are voidable next 36 the agreement without consideration is valid if it is out of love and actual affection yes to compensate for something already done yeah or invalid i would say the options are not proper if it is out of love and natural affection then it must be in writing and plus registered 
टू कम्पनसेट फॉर समथिंग ऑलरेडी डन द आंसर इज दैट बोथ एन बी दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल एंड इन सेकेंड देर मस्ट बी अ प्रोमिस टू कम्पनसेट फॉर समथिंग ऑलरेडी डन सो इट इज ऑल्सो नॉट प्रॉपर नॉट करेक्टली मैंशनड सो आई वुड से द बी कुड बी द आंसर बट इट इट इज ऑल्सो नॉट प्रॉपरली मैंशनड and you can see section 25 exceptions for that this is exception 1 this is exception 2 now study 7 can a co direct part performance of a contract if liability of a party to perform a contract relates to a small portion of the contract yes part unperformed admits compensation in money yes so a and b both are answer c is the answer mentioned in section 12 of specific relief act Next, 38. Can the court rescind the contract after decree in a suit for specific performance? Yes, in certain circumstances. So, answer would be D, B, and C. And where it is mentioned? It is mentioned in Section 28 of Specific Relief Act. Next, 39. What should be the form of the decree in a suit of specific performance filed against the vendor and the subsequent purchaser? To declare the annulation void and to direct the vendor to perform his part of the per contract. Or to require the both parties to execute the sale, so they should be asked for to require the both parties to execute the sale. B is the answer. Next is forty. Specific Relief Act extends to whole of India now. B is the answer. Next forty one. What is the limitation period for filing a suit for possession of an immovable property under Section six of Specific Relief Act? Six months from date of dispossession. B is the answer. Next forty two right to property is a constitutional right and not a fundamental right. B is the answer mentioned in Article three hundred A, which was added by forty fourth Amendment Act of Constitution of India, and earlier it was a fundamental right in Article nineteen one F, but it was deleted by forty fourth Amendment and inserted as constitutional right in Article three hundred A. Next forty three basic structure doctrine was propounded by the Honorable Supreme Court in Keshavanand Bharati case. Very very easy a question. C is the answer. Next forty four fundamental duties are set out in part C. So part three is fundamental rights. Part four is DPSP, and then part four is fundamental duties. D is the answer. It was inserted by forty second Amendment Act as part four A. D is answer. D would be the answer. Next forty five. A judge of high court is appointed by President of India. C is the answer. Where it is mentioned it is mentioned in Article two hundred seventeen of Constitution of India. Next forty six. Which of the following articles of Constitution of India confer supervisory jurisdiction over the courts and tribunals to the High Court? That is Article two twenty seven. C is the answer. Next forty seven. The rent controller is required to consider the question of relative hardship even eviction is sought for on the ground of additional accommodation. B is the answer. And where this is mentioned, it is mentioned in section ten of Puducherry Building Lease and Rent Control Act. Next forty eight. Can a civil court enter in a suit for eviction of a tenant who is entitled to protection of the Puducherry Buildings Lease and Rent Control Act? Yes, they can. A is the answer. It is also mentioned in section ten, subsection one, proviso. Next forty nine. Whether failure to deposit rent for a short period after an order under section eight would amount to willful default? Yes, it will. A is the answer. Next is fifty. The rent controller can revise the fair rent fix for a building periodically, if when additional construction amenities are provided. C is the answer. Where it is mentioned? It is mentioned in section six, subsection one, proviso O, Puducherry Buildings Lease and Rent Control Act. So this is now part B. So part B is criminal law. Question number fifty-one: The provision of IPC apply to any offence committed by any citizen of India in any place without and beyond India? Yes. Any person on board in any ship registered aircraft in India? Yes. Both A and B C is the answer where it is mentioned. It is mentioned in section four of IPC. Next fifty two. If the offence be punishable with fine only, the imprisonment which the court imposes in default of payment of fine shall not exceed four months when the amount does not exceed hundred. So B is the answer. 
this is section 67 ipc if the amount is up to 50 rupees then the punishment is up to two months 50 to 100 then it is four months and above 100 is six months maximum is six months Next 53 nothing is an offense which is done by a child under age of seven years b is the answer session is 82 and it is also called as dolly in capax next 54 the following kind of hurt are designated as grievous hurt under section 340 ipc this must be 320 so this is mentioned wrong i would say this question shall be deleted it's totally wrong 340 is wrongful confinement emasculation is there any hurt which suffers to be during the space of 20 days yes both a and b if that it if 320 is mentioned then correct answer is c both a and b next 55 if anant owes rupee if anant owes money to ramesh for repairing the watch if ramesh retained the watch lawfully for security of his death anant took the watch out of ramesh's possession this is theft b is the answer is liable under section 379 punishment of theft next 56 prudently has been defined as doing anything we intend to defraud in see i have mentioned many times to the students in my previous videos you can make it like this m w d f m 22 23 24 25 how movable property 22 wrongful gain wrongful loss 23 dishonest leave 24 currently 25 so m w d f you can just make anything like that so answer is 25 b is the answer next 57 in case of an offense punishable with fine only imprisonment for non-payment of fine has to be has to be simple b is the answer now you can see that this is a trick question how section 66 mentioned description of imprisonment for non-payment of fine and it mentions that any description to which the offender might have been sentenced for the offense the offense is fine only so it is not a you can say a, it, it is not a harsh punishment offense imprisonment must be simple next 58 when in the committing of theft hurt or wrongful restraint is caused to the person the offense is robbery b is the answer this is section 390 ipc extortion is mentioned in section 383 dacoity 391 theft as you know 378 next 59 a chief judicial magistrate can pass sentence of imprisonment up to seven years B is the answer. This is section 29 CRPC. Next 60. The fire can be quashed in the exercise of inherent powers by the High Court only. C is the answer under section 482 inherent powers of the High Court. Now you can see the question, the same question. Next question of that 60. The inherent powers, the inherent powers of the High Court are contained in 482 as I mentioned already. C is the answer. 62 irregularities which do not vitiate the proceedings have been studied in section 460 a is the answer which vitiates 461 next 63 compounding of an offense under section 320 crpc can be done only after obtaining permission of the court or can only be done by the complainant this is wrong because without the permission of the court is also mentioned and with the permission of the court is also mentioned both are mentioned so can only be done by the complainant. and no cannot result in acquittal it results in acquittal so all the three are incorrect d is the answer none of these s64 a public servant p asks a person s to give an amount of five thousand rupees to process his routine ration card application on time p is guilty of an offense under section 7 of prevention of corruption act a is the answer Next 65 punishment for contravention in relation to manufactured drugs and preparation is provided in section 21 of the NDPS Act. Next 66 a confession by an accused to the police is admissible in evidence 
इफ इज इन कस्टडी एंड कन्फेशन लीड्स टू रिकवरी ऑफ अ डिस्टिंक्ट आइटम ठीक है ना सो ए एंड सी इज द आंसर डी इज द आंसर एंड दिस इज सेक्शन ट्वेंटी सेवन ऑफ एविडेंस एक्ट ने सिक्सटी सेवन इन केस ऑफ इंप्रीजमेंट फॉर नॉन पेमेंट ऑफ फाइन इफ अ पार्ट ऑफ फाइन इज पेड सच सेंटेंस शेल बी रिड्यूस प्रपोर्शनेटली रिड्यूस इन डायरेक्ट प्रपोर्शन टू द फाइन पेड रिड्यूस बट सब्जेक्ट टू डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द कोर्ट नो ए इज द आंसर द सेक्शन इज सिक्सटी नाइन आई नेक्स्ट सिक्सटी एट सेक्शन सेवेंटी थ्री आई पी सी प्रोवाइड द मैक्सिमम लिमिट फॉर सोलेक्ट्रिक कन्फाइनमेंट थ्री मंथस सी इज द आंसर वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चन रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट सिक्सटी नाइन हैंग मैन हु हैंग द प्रिजनर्स पर्सन टू द ऑर्डर्स ऑफ द कोर्ट इज एग्जाम फ्रॉम क्रिमिनल लाइबिलिटी बाई वर्च्यू ऑफ सेक्शन सेवेंटी एट बी इज द आंसर वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चन अगेन रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट सेवेंटी विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ पब्लिक सर्वेंट अंडर आई पी सी Liquidator is a public servant, civil judge. Yes. Member of Panchayat, assisting court of justice. Yes. Secretary of Corporate Society. No. D is the answer. Public servant is defined in Section Twenty One of IPC. Next Seventy One. Unless there may be submission to the custody by words or action, how the police officer can arrest a person by informing the person to actually touching and finding the body of the person to be arrested. C is the answer. And this is section forty six of CRPC arrest how made. Next seventy two, A wrongfully strikes B with cane. Applying two twenty of the CRPC, A may be charged separately with the and convicted of offence under three fifty two three twenty three IPC or three fifty three or three twenty four or three fifty one three twenty five, three fifty two and and three twenty three A is the answer. This is illustration I. of section 220 next 73 under the provision of the crpc cognizance can be taken of the offence and not of the accused b is the answer next 74 a judicial magistrate need not follow the requirement while proceeding under section 200 in case of examining the complainant on oath or accused must be given an opportunity to be heard Section two hundred is for examination of the complainant on oath and must be reduced in writing. But right to opportunity to be heard cannot be given at the stage of section two hundred. So B is the answer. Next is seventy five. Under the provision of section two hundred two CRPC, judicial magistrate cannot direct the police to conduct investigation. No, he can direct the person who is not a police officer to conduct investigation. Yes, he can conduct the inquiry by himself. Yes. Direct his head clerk to give complaint. No, he cannot order this. To D is the answer. Next seventy six warrant of arrest under section seventy CRPC shall be such form as specified in form two of second schedule of the code CRPC. B is the answer. Form one is what summons. Next seventy seven. The period of limitation for taking cognizance of an offence which is punishable with imprisonment for a term not exceeding one year is one year. This is section four sixty eight. If the punishment, if the offence is for punishment fine only, then period of limitation is six months. If up to one year, then it is one year. If one year to three year, it is three year, and three year and above, then no limitation. Next seventy eight. The amount of fine which can be imposed by magistrate of first class has been enhanced by CRPC from rupees five thousand to ten thousand rupees. C is the answer mentioned in section twenty nine CRPC. This was Act twenty five of two thousand five with effect from twenty three June two thousand and six. They also asked this, so you can just remember this. Next is seventy nine. Plea bargaining inserted by Criminal Law Amendment two thousand five does not apply in case of offences affecting socio economic condition. Yes, against women, against children below age of fourteen years. All of the above. D is the answer. Chapter is twenty one A. Section is two sixty five A to two sixty five L. Next eighty. What is the number of witnesses that are required for the proof of any fact? Not specified. 
C is the answer. You can see section 134 for this evidence act. Next 81 section 31 of Indian Evidence Act declares that admission are not conclusive proof of the matter admitted but they may operate as estoppel. Yes, A is the answer. Next 82 A bill which is required by law to be attested can be proved under section 68 by calling at least one witness. C is the answer and where this is mentioned it is mentioned in section 68 only. Next is 83 opinion of expert under section 45 is a conclusive proof no supportive or corroborative in nature yes. So B is the answer. Next 84 the end in the birth register as recorded by the public authorities admissible in evidence under section 35 C is the answer. Next 85. No lie detector test, polygraph test, narco analysis, brain activation should be administered except on the basis of consent of the accused and an option should be given to the accused where he wishes to avail such test. This was held by the apex court in Selvi versus state of Karnataka. A is the answer. Next 86, a statement of a person who is dead relating to the cause of his death, circumstances relating to his death is a relevant fact if the person was under the expectation of death. No. Expectation of death is not necessary. Is a relevant fact. B is the answer. This is a dying declaration under section 32.1 of Evidence Act. Next 87. As per section 108, a person is presumed to be dead if he is not traceable for 7 years. C is the answer. Next is 88. Leading question under Indian Evidence Act can be asked during cross examination without the permission of the court and in chief examination in examination with the permission of the court this is mentioned in section 143 of evidence act this is 89 which of the following statement with reference to protection of children from sexual offenses act is are correct a case of child sexual abuse must be disposed of within nine months from the date of the offense reported no this is wrong the trial of the case must be disposed of within one year from date of taking of cognizance. So this is wrong. It is mentioned in section 35 of POXO Act and define child below age of 18 years. It is mentioned in section 2D definitions. So neither are correct. D is the answer. This is 90 under section 2 1 of POXO. Special court means a court designated as under Section 28 C is the answer and this is mentioned in 21 L definition of special court. Next 91 under section 20 of POXO any personnel of the media hotel or lodge hospital club studio photography facility on coming across any material object which is sexually exploitative of child shall provide such information to the local police or special juvenile police unit. Either A or B. D is the answer. This is section 20. Next 92. Under section 35 of OXO, the evidence of child shall be recorded with period of 30 days. A is the answer. This is mentioned in section 35. Next 93. Next is 93. In a family, there are husband and wife, two sons, three daughters. All the ladies are invited to a dinner. Both sons went out to play husband did not return from office who was at home so husband and wife so these are questions of reasoning now husband wife then two son s1 s2 three daughters d1 2 3 okay so all ladies are invited to a dinner means these daughter and wife has gone to dinner husband did not return from office he is in office both sons went out to play. They are playing outside. Nobody was at home. D is the answer. Next 94. If in a certain language Mumbai is coded as this. Okay. How Chennai is coded. So you can see that M is coded as N. Okay. U as V. And then again N. So you can see that if you write A, B, C, D. Then next letter. A is B and then B is C. So C must be D. So the C you can see all are D. I is J. So there are three options of J. H is incorrect. A, B, N, O, O, E, F, and 
H I. So A is the answer. Very easy questions. Next, ninety-five. The Reserve Bank of India was nationalized in the year nineteen forty-nine. C is the answer. Next, ninety-six. Paramveer Chakra is the highest gallantry award in India. C is the answer. Next, ninety-seven. Hindu Succession Act will not apply to renovants. A is the answer. Where it is mentioned in section two of Hindu Succession Act. Next, 98 ceiling on the holding of agricultural land in Puducherry is 15 standard acres. B is the answer. Next, 99 the limitation for prescription of any right under French Civil Code is 30 years. C is the answer. Next, 100 the disposable quota under French Civil Code is one eighth share. A is the answer. So, friends, here we have discussed all the questions of. Recently held preliminary exam paper of Puducherry Judicial Services. If you find anything wrong in that, or you want to ask any question or do any comment, you are very welcome for that. You can just write in the comment section. We always appreciate your comments and feedback. And friends, if you like the efforts, kindly give a super thanks. Super thanks is a way to help the content creator. Means if you like the videos, you can just donate some money to them in form of tips. Minimum starts with twenty. Minimum is twenty rupees. And if you like the video, please like it. Like it. Like it. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. And while subscribing, don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of our upcoming videos. So friends, thank you. Thanks very much for watching this video. Thank you.